Hello everyone and today's topic is basis of a vector space. So these videos that I'm uploading whether it be on general aptitude or mathematical science these are all important and are going to help you if you are preparing for CSIR net. So please to subscribe my channel if you haven't yet to get more such type of videos. So let us get back to our topic and that is basis of a vector space. So a subset S of a vector space VF is said to be a basis of V over F that is where V is the vector space and F is the field. If S consists of linearly independent sets of vectors and the span of S is equals to V that is every element of V can be written in a unique way that is the finite linear combination of elements of S. Okay. So, uh, let us take an example of R cube. So, the basis of R cube contains of the vectors 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, these are the vectors. These are the set of vectors of R cube. Okay. So, this is the standard basis of R cube because these vectors are linearly independent and also the span v that is r cube okay similarly the standard basis for r square is 1 0 and 0 1 okay now next let us see what is the dimension of a vector space the number so the number of vectors in a basis of a vector space v is the dimension of v and it is denoted by dim v and if a basis of v contains a finite number of vectors then v is finite dimensional otherwise that is infinite dimensional and we write that as dim v is equals to infinity okay so let me explain this through an example so we know that the basis of r cube contains 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and 1 0 0 okay so as we know that the basis of r cube contains three vectors okay and these vectors are linearly independent so therefore the dimension of r cube is 3 okay similarly as r square the basis of r square as the basis of r square contains two vectors that is 1 0 and 0 1 so therefore the dimension of r square is 2 okay so the dimension of r n is n and the dimension of r x is infinite okay and the dimension of m where m is a matrix of m cross n order is m cross n okay and the dimension of the vector space r over r is 1 okay so similarly we can find the dimension of rest of the vectors now let, uh, now let us move to the next topic. Now here are some of the important points based upon the basis and dimension. Okay. So every vector space has a basis. Next. The empty set is a basis for the trivial vector space 0 and the dimension of 0 is 0. Okay. Now the trivial vector space is nothing but the 0 space. Okay zero vector space so the zero vector space is known as the trivial vector space and the and the vector spaces apart from the zero vector space are called the non-trivial vector spaces okay so the next point is no non-trivial vector space over a field more than two elements has a unique basis okay next point is if a vector space v has a basis containing n vectors then every basis of V 
must contain n vectors and similarly if v has infinite bases then every basis of b of v must contain infinite elements okay so the dimension of v is unique if dimension of v is equals to n then any subset of v containing more than n vectors is linearly dependent now let me explain this through an example now let the vector space b r square and the subset s of v contain the following vectors that is 1 0 0 1 and 1 2 then as per this point see the dimension of v is n okay so here the dimension of r square is 2 okay but the subset is containing the number of uh, but the subset is containing more number of elements than the dimension of r square that is 3 okay so therefore the vectors are going to be linearly dependent and this will not form the basis of r square let us see how okay see because we can see from here that 1 2 is the linear combination of 1 0 and twice of 0 1 this can the one two can be written in this form so therefore these vectors are linearly dependent so even though they span r square they do not form the basis of r square okay now let us see the next point that is if the dimension of v is equals to n then any subset of v containing fewer than n vectors does not span v okay now let me explain this through an example so example b okay let r4 be the vector space and s is equals to 1 1 0 0 and 0 0 1 1 let s contain these two vectors now we can see that these two vectors are linearly independent but they do not span r4 okay so therefore this also do not form the basis of r4 so this was an example of this point only if see if the subset of s contains fewer element than n then the vectors does not span v where n is the dimension of v okay so here we can see its dimension is how much for the dimension of r4 is 4 okay and s is containing two vectors that is the number of vectors are less than the dimension of r4 so therefore s do not span r4 okay so uh, this does not span v okay So thanks for watching my video and if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe my channel